Hello, in today's video we will be looking at my Phalaenopsis Felina. This is actually my first Phalaenopsis Felina. I have a lot of Phalaenopsis Felina hybrids but not an actual pure Felina species. Um, and this one I got from, let me get the tag, if I can find it, okay right here. So this one I got from um, Louisiana Orchid Connection, um, LA Orchid John um, on eBay.com, which is what I got this one from. Um, I did not get this from his website, but I have seen the website and there are some cool things on there. But I just I just prefer buying from eBay. So here is the flower. It's kind of old at this point, um, so it's got a little bit of marking right there. But I'm very happy with this one. I was worried to get um, a Bellina species because um, they're generally expensive. Um, if you want a specific uh, clone or something like that. And a lot of them can be really cupped. Um, a lot more than this one. Um, which is why I'm happy that it turned out the way it was because it is an unnamed clone or as you can see you know it's just Phalaenopsis Bellina there was no information on the parents so I'm very happy with the coloring on this one um, there's a lot of yellow around the edges and I like the more yellow Bellinas as opposed to the um, white Bellinas I just like the color contrast between yellow and pink much better than the color contrast between um, white and pink. So as you can see, it's got the typical uh, sort of triangle of color in the middle, which I like. It's nicely saturated. Um, the petals are very, very thick, like they feel like plastic. Um, and yeah, this is her. I really like the shape of the lip and how smooth it is. That really comes through on my... Um, Bellina Hybrid, which is the, uh, I believe it's the Fal Yang Yang Blue Angel, or just the Fal Blue Angel, which is a, um, Fal Yang Yang Blueberry cross with a Bellina Cerulea. So yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit cupped, um, on the top, that's typical for Bellinas, but not as much as I was expecting, um, on the rest of the petals and sepals. Here it is again. And I'm keeping it in um, my typical um, Lekka. Um, and then I have a moss bark mixture above it. And this is um, relatively new. Um, I'd say about three months ago was when I started mixing uh, moss and bark because I found that um, even during summer here in uh, Ventura County, the temperatures are just getting, uh, or rather, the temperatures were not getting hot enough to um, evaporate the moisture out of the media in, uh, you know, within even a week. So I started mixing uh, moss with bark, and I just uh, got a lot better root growth, and I also got a more uh, defined wet dry cycle, which is what I like. Um, and most orchids generally like a defined wet dry cycle, or at least the ones that I grow, which are... Um, Phalaenopsis, um, excuse me, Bandier um, subtribe and Lilianae subtribe um, orchids, which is generally Fowls, Vandas, um, and Catlia type species. So yeah, it came with this marking on it. Um, it hasn't really grown that much or at all. The leaves are pretty thick, so it's kind of hard to get an underneath view, but I'm dealing with it. If it spreads, I'm going to cut it off. Yeah, I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that I'll get one more bud out of this one. I had a bud on here. I don't know if I can show you. That little black thing right there. Um, that was from Fisan 20. I spray my collection with Fisan 20 regularly and, um, before a certain point of the bud development, like when they're very young, about this size, 
um, Fizan 20 will blast your buds. So if you are um, spraying Fizan 20 on your collection, I would, um, what I do is I cover the buds with um, a little plastic cup if I can find one that's um, this small of a size. I have some left over from those uh, Spongebob Krabby Patty candies. Um, they're like these very tiny little um, plastic cups that I can just put over the inflorescence or I cover them with um, toilet paper. I just wrap the toilet paper loosely around there and then I spray the orchid um, and then I will take the toilet paper off and that usually um, protects it from the Fysan. And if I do happen to get Fysan on an inflorescence, I will just spray the inflorescence down with um, some water and usually that will keep the inflorescence um, or the buds from blasting on the inflorescence. So kind of a longer video than I usually do because I'm a bit chatty this morning. But yeah, this is my Falbalina. Very happy with it. Um, just gonna talk about the scent real quick. Um, I do not get a Fruit Loop scent. I do not get anything really near a Fruit Loop scent, but what I do get is uh, an orange citrus scent um, with an undertone of bell pepper. So it's um, very vegetal undertone, a little bit spicy, but it's mostly um, orange. Um, citrus scent. Anyway, thank you for watching the video and hopefully I'll be uploading another video soon or relatively soon, or at least I'll be filming it soon, um, of my Brassavola and Nadosa, which looks amazing. So stay tuned. Bye!